Twas the night before Christmas when all through the odd, not a creature was stirring, not even the common squad. The jerseys were hung in their lockers with care, in hopes that another game day soon would be there. The fans were nestled and snug in their beds, and the visuals of Archie's hit rang in their heads. And Ben with his stash and endless flow had put down his stick to watch the falling snow. When out on the ice there arose such a clatter, Johnny sprang from the bench to see what was the matter. Away to the boards he flew like a flash, oh, no. right up and down the ice looking for a crash. The scoreboard was going with recent wins. The bleachers were clear of popcorn bins, but what to Jan's wandering eyes should appear but a venture sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. The dragon green driver so fuzzy and bright, Kellen knew in that moment the driver, the driver was out in flight. More rapid than phantoms, the scursors, they came, and he whistled and shouted and called him by name. Now Freezy, now Frankie, now Stewie and Bomber, on Comet, on Yoki, on Pelts and Greener, to the top of the crease, to the top of the stands, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Zamboni snow that before the wild hurricane fly, they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to Utica skies, the courses they flew, the slaveful merchandise, how they do. And then I'm twinkling Henry Heard on the roof, the prancing and bowing of each little hoof, as he awoke and was turning around down the chimney, Augie came in with a bow. He was dressed all in fur, from antenna to foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of merch he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his nose so plump, his green fur like moss, his belly a bump. His smile full of cheer was blissfully beaming of Comet's winds. He was undoubtedly dreaming. His antennas bounced around atop his big head, while Pascal and Patrick were sound asleep in bed. Footprints of snow he left on the ground, alien boy sure to make no sound. He was chubby and plump, a rake jolly old friend, and Brandon laughed when he saw him, his spirits ascend. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave Peter to know he had nothing to dread. He spoke not a sound, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, deking around with smirk. And laying his finger aside on his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to give his team a whistle, and away they all flew, the dawn of a thistle. Oh, I heard him exclaim, full comments, Ben, sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.